I have been playing Kingdom of Hearts 2 Final Mix for the past 10 to 12 years now. I wondered, can you beat this game without using magic and abilities? Because I played this game so much on beginner, on standard, on pro, on critical, even at level 1. And since I am really curious if you can complete this game without using magic and abilities, I asked myself the question, can you beat Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix at level 1? Yes, we are doing this on level 1 without using magic and abilities. And no, we don't count Grim Reaper in this challenge because I know he's not possible without using magic or abilities. So yeah, I guess we can say let's find out. Here we go. So the first world is Voxus's world, which is, I guess it's pretty simple, I mean we just talk to these people right there, and then we can choose the weapon. And to be honest, I really want strength, so I'm gonna pick the strength, because strength is always important. Then we clap Cypher, because he's a fucking newbie, and I'm a pro gamer. And after that, now we do a mini game. And after that, we go to the dive into the heart, where we fight our first boss on this world, which is Twilight Fawn. And he can be pretty annoying, but since I've played this game so many times, it really wasn't a problem at all. And even though I cannot use abilities anymore, which is a bit harder, but still, I didn't saw that big of a difference. Then we just did some mini games yet again. Then we fought Axel again. And she was just a tutorial boss in my opinion, so it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, then we just completed his world in like, I would say 25 minutes to 30 minutes, which is pretty a strong time for level 1, I would say to myself. <laughs> and yeah, then we got to play Sora. And here starts our journey. We go to the train station, clapping so nobodies. Then we go to the train, and who do we see? Correct, fat as Pete. We go defeating some heartless again, and again. And then we got to the top of the tower, talking to the fairies, and get a first form, valor form, which is pretty useful in the first few worlds because it's really strong at the beginning. So yeah, and that was. Technically Twilight Town, and now we're heading over to Hollow Bastion. Now we go to the first visit of Hollow Bastion, which is not long, it's pretty short. We just go to the people and talk to them, and then we just go to Bailey. And I mean, I got my first death here, but it was a pretty short fight, and oh, I got a wear situation comment for Leon where I have to revive him and then we defeat the nobodies and say hi to the Hawk 13 and yeah that was basically it. Ah yes, the land of dragons, it's so peaceful, it's not hard at all and I'm gonna have a good time here. Not. And because on this world it took me like three to five hours to complete this world or like and the worst part is yet to come in the end of this world. But I'm not talking it right here. So we come to this world and then we talk to the general, in which he gives us three missions, which is uh, pretty simple. Just like killing the heartless and, and then the last one is such a search and find mission. It's not really a search and find mission in my opinion, so just clapping some heartless I guess. And then we go up to the mountain where we have to go through the rocks and with some reaction commands and then we got here to the first section which is really annoying I wouldn't say hard but still annoying because I can use magic and abilities and there are many heartless in this small room I almost died pretty quickly because of these small things right here and the last wave is two big fairies who are really Annoying to kill. We go top to the mountain, fight some heartless for one minute, 
which is just surviving, so it's easy. Then we had to go to the palace where we fought Atlas yet again for like two waves and then we fought Shan Yu and oh boy, where do I begin with? Shan Yu is supposed to be easy, and if you know how, but since I can't use abilities, this fight is pretty, pretty hard. Because for those who know, you get a reaction command when you block his attack, push him back and deal him damage, which is nice and helpful. But here's two problems. The thing is, in this fight, I have to protect the door as much as possible and not get killed by the bird. Because the bird starts attacking me if Shan Yu is in his second phase, which starts at 50% time of his health. I got killed so many times because of that bird, because the bird is fucking annoying. And this fight took me over two hours straight trying, trying, and after dying, and after dying, till I got this perfect run. Digga, warum? Nein! Ja, oh mein Gott, 
the, the fitting Chen Yu, we got a new Keyblade, which is the worst, 7 of them all, so we don't use this and it's useless because I cannot use magic and it's not helpful for me, so yeah. I guess we can say 3 to 5 hours just for this world because the boss sucked for this challenge. But it was doable and now we head over to Beast's Castle for now. Beast's castle is not really that long, it's pretty short for me, um, but I got a big problem when I fight the boss in this world, so I'm gonna talk to it later. When we first come here we have to clap some heartless yet again, and then we go to Bell's room, and then we have to push the thing, push the thing. Push the thing. Then we go to the chamber now where we fight the mini boss, which is not hard, just go to the battle form, um, kill the enemies first, and then the boss alone. Then we have to do a mini game, fight beasts, and then we have to go to Belle's womb um, yet again, just to find out that she has been captured by Xornan. And then we go to the boss, so um, so far it's not bad, but now comes the problem. The first fight isn't that uh, pretty hard, it's just uh, be patient and stay away from most of the attacks. And yeah, then we fight um, the second phase of this boss, which is the hardest one. Because first of the spawning enemies or balls or whatever this is supposed to be. And then if I go to the second phase of him, which happens of 50%, I think, the bosses are attacking with some attacks that I can't parry and I can't deal enough damage to him till I beat him. And after one or two hours of trying, I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop here and head over to Olympus Colosseum because I want to get Hero's Quest because it has a really good ability for me. Olympus Colosseum is not also that long in my opinion, but still it can be annoying. Here's the funny thing, I was scared of Olympus Colosseum than Beast's Castle because I know Xerberus is annoying. Hades Escape, Pete Fight. To be honest, I wasn't that long in this world because it was going so flawless. I first tried Hades Escape, Severus, or like the second try. The fight with Pete was also pretty simple. I just had to use the bats for the reaction command to make much damage. Even the Hydra was, um, yeah, pretty simple. Just had to be careful and be patient. Yeah, now I got a Keyblade which has a nice sub ability which is called Air Combo Boost. If I do a combo in the air, I deal much more damage with a finisher. And I thought now, okay, I got one more strength and have a boost in air combo finishes. Will I be able now to defeat the boss in Beast Castle? Then I uh, tried it again and after not even 10 minutes, I got a really clean run, which I, I think I used like one high, one high potion or two potions. The second phase was pretty clean because I got to use uh, his reaction command three or four times in a row, which is pretty lucky for me and I defeated him. And we can move on to Disney's castle. Which is pretty short, it's not um, that hard. Just one moment where it can be difficult because of the enemies. Going through the schloss, talking to Minnie, and getting here to the chamber and of the cornerstone. And yeah, then we go to a timeless river, defeating old P one time. Then we have to clear four rooms. Three are easy and uh, the one with the fire is pretty annoying because of the cars. And since I died of um, using Venom form, I uh, got lucky that I got Anti form, and Anti form literally clutched the fight so hard I first tried it with Anti form, which I was like, damn, Anti form is cooking, man. And after that, we have to chase the normal Pete, who is uh, stealing the cornerstone, just slashing back to objects, um, getting into the boat, and slash the cornerstone out. And then we fight the normal Pete yet again, which is also pretty simple, just be careful timing it. And yeah, that was it. And now we got Wisdom Form, which I didn't use at this one at all because it was useless for me. And since I, I can't really use magic, or I can't use magic, it was useless. So we head over now to Port Royal. I have spent over 3 hours on Port Royal the first visit because of Barbossa. Because the fight was 
It, this challenge really annoying, but I will get to that later. Yeah, Port Royal is in the first beginning not so hard, just um, clipping some Heartless, going to the ship, and then we have to get to the cave, survive for one minute, and then we got an ambush from the pirates, and I died I think two or three times, and then I really have to be patient and just literally killed one by one, and, and, and it took me like eight minutes or something. And after that we have to kick out 5 barrels and then we have to go to Barbossa and um, help Jack. So far it's not that bad until now because Barbossa is literally so bad in this challenge because the way I did this is literally to study him because he has for somehow 3 phases which is unnormal because his first wave he's literally uh, focused to Jack and the thing about this fight if Jack dies I also lose this fight and have to start over again so I have to keep an eye on Jack so that he has as much health as possible and because Barbossa charges Jack almost the whole fight for some reason and I guess they are enemies or something like that I mean yeah they are pirates but still and uh, his first phase is literally charge always to Jack then when I get to a second phase he's gonna charge attack two times in a row so uh, that when I know okay He's, he's doing now his, his second phase, then he's doing his first reaction command sometimes. I know I have to get him as fast as possible to his third phase, because if I get there without me or Jack dying, I can win this fight. And over two hours of trying, I got there and, and noticed he's doing his second reaction command all the time, almost when I'm at his third phase. And it worked out. So yeah, that was Port Royal after two or three hours of trying Barbossa. Now we move on to Halloween Town. Halloween Town is also uh, pretty simple in my opinion. It's not really hard. The first fight you can lose, then you go visit Santa Claus to the factory. Then we have to go to Halloween Town again and fight Puppet Master, I think it's called. I died a few times there, but it wasn't that much. It took me like 20 or 25 minutes to um, beat him. And Doogie Boogie was literally first try like always. And even though I don't use abilities and magic, even this fight is by far the easiest, like, it's not a challenge. And yeah, that was Halloween Town for now, which is really short, and we head over to Bytland. I know that Pride Lens is not that necessary uh, to be the game, it's an optional mode, but I remembered for some reason after I fight the Hyenes, I get an item slot more which is helpful for me, even for this challenge. And after I got there, I got more life instead of an item slot which is like, oh, um, okay, I somehow wasted my time here, but okay, I guess I'll take it and just leave it right lands just like that. Then we head over to Twilight Town instead of Egg rubber. And it has a reason why. And because uh, Twilight Town, the second visit, we have just to fight some nobodies and then we have to go to the train station to get a new Keyblade Oathkeeper, which is really nice. And we get a new form called Limit Form. And this form really helps in the end game. And you will see why. And after I got my limit form, I decided to go a bit to Hollow Bastion 2 and I decided to level up the limit form by using some limits, which costs magic. But I decided just for the challenge, I don't count this in this scenario. So I got it to level uh, 5, I think, and then I played so far till I get the master form. And master form is also a really strong form. But if I'm alone, it's really worthless. I also decided to level it at Halloween Town. A viewer named KH13 told me that leveling there before clearing Hollow Bastion 2 is a really good way to gain good levels. So I did it to get it to level 5 or level 6, I think. And then I was prepared to do Egg Rubber. Aquaba is also, I would say, easy at certain points, but it's just the 
boss and before the boss. It's just like, okay, going to claim some Heartless, going to the Princess, going to the Cave of Wonders. I have to do a mini game twice in a row, which is not bad at all. I first tried it, easy. And now comes the challenge where I was like, okay, I am gonna die here so many times. I have to clear 50 Heartless in a really small room, but the first 47 is easy. It's not hard, but then they are spawning. Three fat bandits right in front of me and they surround me. What am I gonna do here? Well, that's a good question. After I almost beat 47 Heartless, I decided to go to limit form and I wondered what if I only managed to pull a full combo off trying to get big explosion as much as possible so that I can stagger the enemies all the time till I defeat it one by one and for some reason, it really worked out, and that was the first try, and I was like, this fucking worked, I'm a fucking genius. And then we got to the boss of this world, Fire Lord and Blizzard Lord is, I think, is called. I died also a few times, because I didn't really know what should I do if I got to the DM. And because the Fire Lord is doing uh, 5 or 6 fireballs at me at the same time, which is not good, because I get literally much damage even though with fire and blizzard resistance. So I thought, okay, what if I just use massive form and in that moment I got anti form, which literally helped me in this fight. So I one combo fire lord dead and almost full combo the blizzard lord, but the rest I got with a finisher and that was the boss. I was surprised that I didn't die here as often as I would have expected. But hey, it worked out and now we are going to continue Hollow Bastion 2. We have to go to Transworld uh, doing this motorcycle minigame which is also first try. I mean, yeah, I got a hit but still, it was easy. And after the minigame we go to the data space where we have to clear 3 monitors in 2 minutes. And then we have to go to the IO tower to get the Gaia belt which is really nice. It has Dark and Thunder resistance, which is nice, and then we have to fight Hossai Pogram. I really thought this fight would be hard as hell, but I only died once in this fight, and the second try was really clean. And that was basically Tron's world in this situation, and after clearing the first visit of Space Paranoids, we have to help our friends. We have to slay some nobodies and heartless again, then we have to slay nobodies again, now, but this time it's mostly dancers, and oh my god, I was stuck at this fight for 45 minutes because of the dancers. I couldn't do really much, and and I know I need a form for the last phase because they are spawning six dancers and I can't use abilities and magic. That's the problem with this fight. So I had to be careful, really be patient as hell to find an opening and deal little by little some damage and clear the third phase of the six dancers with the master form. And now comes a fight where I have really to study for him and that is Demix. The first phase of Demix is not really hard, I just have to be careful and not get too close to him since he can one shot me with his reaction comment so yeah I mostly did some air combos to deal him some damage and if I got to the second phase he should always do his DM because I can pretty much get no damage to his DM if I jump correctly and the problem is if he's doing something different he is spawning water towers right in front of me and I can't really get away from it um, because it's literally chasing me and that's the problem so I thought okay the first phase just be patient and get him there as fast as possible and then be careful on the second phase so I decided to go to limit form because master form isn't really that good I would say so I choose the limit form I only use dodge work in this moment for certain attacks because yeah I I have to use it, otherwise I will get pretty much damage and get killed by him. So be patient, 
dodge rolling and yeah after 45 minutes i finally beat him um, and he has almost six bars by the way uh, which is a lot for this moment after defeating damix we have to go help our final fantasy friends uh, because they are fighting right now the heartless and we are fighting right beside them we have to go with yuffie with squall with tifa and the last one is cloud i first tried that it's not hard i just had to be patient and they are doing the work for me uh, which is nice and then we fight the 1000 heartless it's like usual grabbing the beamer till i have killed 960 heartless or something like that and then we literally clear the second visit of follow bastion so we can say like two and a half hours I thought this would be longer, but it was quicker than I thought. And then we head over to the second visit of Beast Castle. Now the worlds are getting shorter, but also harder. And even for this world, because we all know who this boss is gonna be in the second visit of Beast Castle. So we come here clapping so nobody's fast, going to Beast's room, getting the Rumbling Rose, which is OP, even in this challenge, and this helps me. Then we have to go to the main entrance, end of this world, clapping so nobody's yet again, and then we fight Xaldin. And oh my god, Xorden, he is the hardest by far, not in the challenge, but by far the hardest boss yet. I tried to pick Xorden now instead of later because I really wanted to get over with, but after two hours of trying, I got to his third phase, but it was still not enough yet really, really close. So I chose to not do him for now and moved on to the second visit of the Land of the Dragons, which is also short but not as hard as Beast Castle. So we go to the mountain, fight Riku, going to the palace, fighting some heartless, then nobodies, and then we pretty much are by the boss. It is just be patient and watch out and the rest is doing by itself by getting the reaction command to make some damage or like attacking the little horns and pretty much watch out for the spawning funnels. The boss is casting on me. And yeah, that's it. I think the boss took me 30 minutes or 40 minutes I think, which is a good time. And then I visited Port Royal 2 and I'm not gonna say much here because it's not worth it to describe it because we all know it's not possible to be Grim Reaper, and as I said in the beginning, and yeah, we moved on to Halloween Town, the second visit, which is, there are like two fights, and then I'm pretty much by the boss, which is battling the three kids, then go to Halloween Town, in the mini city show place there, then we have to get the presents back, then we make fake presents, and we fight the experiment, and the experiment is, he's really a pain in the ass, because since I was there, I wasn't unsure if I would beat him in my way because I really need at least 7 drive gate to go almost 2 times in the master form first of his first phase to get him to the second phase as, as quickly as possible with enough drive gauge to deal him with enough damage to get him to in his third phase which is not really a third phase but it's for me a um, third phase so i know okay he's got at least a half not a half bar left so okay just be patient and take a hit if i need to i think it took me three or four combos to kill him in that moment and i think i was stuck at halloween town for one to two hours because i died most of the time in the second phase because he's just so fast that i couldn't do really anything so i have to make a master plan just for this fight and my master plan goes like this i go to the valley form on santa claus's house and then i use the driver to have a max driver gauge which is six because i decided to go to malusha and beat him real fast to get another drive cage so so we have six right now and that i can go to battle the experiment with three forms in one fight i know i need the movement because it's really hard with base sower to dodge some attacks of the experiment because it's really weird and when the experiment is doing his spiral attack at me it's over because i'm not that fast at high 
I can dodge it. So, going to the Valor form before the fight, then getting to him to the um, second phase with the first type of Valor form. And the second time that I use the Valor form, I am trying to deal him as much damage as possible. And the third time of using the Valor form is supposed to be the key to win this fight. And I should at least get him to his third phase because if I get there I can definitely say I can kill him still with base Sora. And that was the point and I finally win that fight. If I wouldn't have 6 drive gauge I think it wouldn't be possible. After cleaving Halloween Town 2 we move to Beast's castle yet again to give Xorden another try. Statt eine Sperre zu benutzen, in der Akkad. Anmachen. Ja. Leider anmachen. Goofy the parry guard. würde ich jetzt so mal als Fünftes anzählen.
Muss sie jetzt in deiner Alm benutzen, sonst hätte ich glaube ich nur zu viel Schaden wohl kassiert. Knapp, oh ja. Ja, Digga, was ist das noch nicht die Form benutzen. Ich habe es gedacht, ah, was das jetzt für ein Scheiß, was er macht. Ich weiß nicht, ob das jetzt Nummer 4 oder, nu oder nu Nummer 5 war, also sage ich es nicht, als halber, es war jetzt nu äh, Nummer 4. Hätte ich nicht gewusst, Sam, dass du den jetzt geparried hättest, doch Gott, Goofy, ey. Egal. Oh mein Gott! Huh. 
And after 20 minutes, I also beat him. And this one try took me like, I think 10 minutes, which is pretty long. And the thing about Xorlin is I can't go to a form yet. If he gets me one attack, I am pretty much one shot. So I have to make another plan just for him, which is running around and getting as much jumps as possible to get him to his second phase. Yes, he has also three phases, which um, you wouldn't believe. Have the first phase um, starts normal, Mifs just win guardian, and then he's just um, walking to you. And his attacks are normal, so I can dodge it pretty easily for the moment uh, because I have to spam triangle to get the reaction command for jump as soon as he starts attacking me because if i don't do it he will get me and i will be dead so trying to get nine jumps as much as possible to make him some damage and if i got to the second phase of him he just starts to attack me faster than usual until i get to his third phase which happens when he is entering his dm and the dm is pretty easy and the thing about the dm is i just have to have a great distance for him so like he can get me and if he's doing his uh, weird wind blast i just press one jump or like getting to the other side of the bridge just not to get hit and now comes the real part the fun part in this fight and also why i died so much is because i try to make him one move all the time and this is pure rng which means if i jump to him when he's coming at me while he is defending himself with wind guard i really want to make that one specific move where he goes up to the sky and throws the spears at me this is the move that i want for the rest of the fight because if he is spamming wind guard when he's coming at me i have a big problem and because i would be very much dead and that's it. And in that fight, I got really lucky that he did almost every time his jump attack. And that was the point. That was the key to beat him. And after 10 minutes of this try that you see right here, I defeated him. And oh my god, it was so good that I finally beat him. After cleaving Beast's Castle 2, we head over to Agrabah, the second visit. It was pretty short for me. I really thought I would have really problems with Jafar when I get there because I know how awful this boss can be when you don't really have the resistance or whatsoever. So we come here, we go to this weird place where we have to fly around with a carpet and then we have to grab some heartless two times, then we have to do a trial with each fire, blizzard, thunder, then we head over fast to the tower to a mini game, and then we pretty much fight Jafar. I think I was stuck at this boss for like three or four tries. I decided to equip some fire and thunder resistance because Jafar is doing when he's at his second phase. Does fire and thunder spell at me. It's pretty fast. Like the thunder is pretty fast. Time the fire is okay to dodge, but the thunder is almost impossible to dodge and I get much damage. And after equipping that, I just decided to go far away from him just to see if he is spamming this spell for the rest of the fight or not. And my lucky thing is that I noticed that he's doing it just two or three times and then he's doing his wrist attack. So I have been patient, damage his stomach, getting the reaction command and beat him. And I was surprised that I beat him pretty quickly. So I would say this fight took me like 20 or 30 minutes. Um. So yeah, that was aggro about two. I also did Pridelands 2 and Total Best 3 just because for the farming spot, which I will explain later because it's important. And after clearing every world of the second visit, we are going to Twilight Town where we have to fight some nobody pretty quickly, which is also first or like a second try. Then we go to the mansion, down to Roxas's world to fight some nobodies yet again, and then fight with Axe or the hot boy with some nobodies again. And after winning the fight, we have come to the last world of this challenge, which is the world that never was.
We came so far now and now someone's standing inside a way and it's none other than Roxas. I can definitely say that this boss Roxas is from this challenge the hardest of them all because of his patterns. I really must say I tried him for 4 to 5 hours straight and tried to parry him to dodge as much as possible and it still wasn't enough and after dying and dying and still dying to him I decided to farm some power ups. I wondered if this would make the difference since I died so much in this fight. I tried so many things with the rumbling rose, the rice pumpkin, but it wasn't still enough. I decided to go back to a few worlds and get the materials that I needed for crafting as much power ups as possible in my current state. And to this point where I am now, I managed to craft 10 power ups at this point which is really a lot for me and I really hope that with the strength that I have now and that I can maybe beat them now. In the end I had a strength number of 32 with the Decide Pumpkin because I noticed that Rumbling Rose wasn't the solution here so I had to stick with the Pumpkin Keyblade and after dying for the next 1 to 2 hours I got this one and yeah and you have to just see it for your own eyes. Oh no, yeah, the whole thing is the best in the world. And... I found it aber die Fähigkeiten von Sora in äh, Smash sind so gut. Ja, keine Ahnung, ich habe Sora in Smash nicht gespielt. Könnte vielleicht daran liegen, dass ich zu dem Zeitpunkt, wo ich Smash gespielt habe, Sora noch nicht, äh, dass es da Sora glaube ich noch nicht mal gab. Weil Sora ist ja glaube ich DLC-Charakter gewesen oder so, ne? Mhm. Ja, mhm. der letzte seiner Art. Also. Ja, der neueste. Stimmt, ja. Ja, ich weiß, wenn jetzt Smash wieder ein neuer Charakter rauskommt, dann gibt es auf jeden Fall wieder einen Stream von Dantendo. Ja, äh, kostet 6 Euro einzeln, hat man mir einzeln geholt. Okay. Na, dann denke ich mal, wird wahrscheinlich mit der Switch 2 wahrscheinlich ein, äh, dann auch irgendwann ein neues Smash release wenn nochmal Smash rauskommen sollte. Light! Ab mit eins. Der geht, glaube ich, in meinen Arschloch. Nein, ja. Moment. Aber das. Boah! Das geht da rein. Nein, sind. Ah! Oh, der war weg! Der, der guck! Der Fuß! Mit dem Fuß, Digga! Schmutz. Ich muss tot. Oh, oh mein Gott! Gott. Ich kann hier viel auswählen, was jetzt Teil 1. Ja! Fangen wir Kingdom Hearts Final Mix an. Ich hab's so wirklich gemacht. Okay, äh, weil äh, alles, was danach kommt, du solltest erstmal. Also wenn du rein theoretisch nach der Story hergehen willst, musst du dann mit Kingdom Hearts Both by Sleep anfangen. Aber ich lebe dir ans Herz, Alter, fang mit Kingdom Hearts 1 an. Ja, äh, wird denn alles gespeichert? Ja, sobald du ein Game separat äh, bei dem Speicherpunkt speichern tust, ja. Es ist so ein Schatzpass. Plus der MD Wand. Dann wünsche ich dir viel Spaß auf jeden Fall, Alex.
Oh, stimmt, ey. jetzt habe ich ein Problem. Ich habe ja eine Steuerhose drin. Das habe ich einen Abschlussangriff vor. Scheiße. Ich glaube, ich könnte es tot sein. Alter, geh stiften, geh stiften. I am so happy right now that I can say that Waxus is possible to beat him without using magic and abilities. And because he is really so hard. And the hardest part from this fight is first RNG and second and when he comes at you to make a Keyblade combo. And this is really what it scares me all the time because he comes so close then he swings fast at me and since I don't have the movement because I can't use abilities, I am very limited. And I always got hit from the hitbox. This boss, Voxus, took me 10 hours and 40 minutes to beat. Which is right now the longest time I've ever had with a challenge. But since I have now Voxus out of the way, we can move on to Zigbar. Zigbar took me in a total time of 1 hour and the hardest part of this fight is the first phase to getting through fast and his DM. I tried to parry most of Zigbar's shots that he's shooting at me, but the problem is that sometimes I can't really tell if he gonna stand there for 2-3 to three seconds and then shoot at me, or like when he's teleporting that he instantly shoots at me, and that is a problem, and this is why I thought to myself, okay, just for this fight I am gonna gonna use some pause framing too, so like that I can see what he's doing. This fight is technically simple and if you know how. The first phase is dealing him the base phone as much damage as I can to get him to the second phase when Zigpa is shooting with his blue laser bullets. And then I got to the Valor form because the Valor form is very useful for this fight because I can make fast combos to deal him as fast damage and as possible and the good thing is that I really got him cornered when he, he suddenly changes the room and this is the room that I was looking for and because he always spawns in the middle of this room and that's what I wanted so I moved fast and comboed him to the third phase and my lucky thing is that I actually skipped his DM and that was to be honest not on purpose and then after my valor form was running out, I wanted to go again with the Valor form, but instead I got the Anti form. And Anti form was, I think, the clutch here because I just had two combos left with the Anti form. And my lucky thing is that he once reload, and the second one that he walked slowly. That was the perfect time that I got another combo with the Anti form and I beat him. I fucking skipped his DM, which is really nice, and of course, with a nice finish. The next boss is Luxord, which I took him down in my second try. He is not hard, he is pretty simple, even without using magic and abilities. You just have to be careful and be patient and that's it. You can just wait till Luxord is doing his DM and then yeah, you are pretty much done with the fight. He's really not hard. One of the easiest bosses in this game, to be honest. And after the Luxord V fight Sykes and Sykes, I took him down in 50 minutes and I died, I think, six or seven times because I wondered if I can also manage to skip his DM. And I actually did, which kind of surprised me because because I really thought that when he set this um, DM phase that he is gonna do it all the time which is not the case which is pure RNG luck was on my side and therefore I was patient all the time and waited for the right moment to kill him. And after Sykes we got Xemnas 1. Xemnas 1 
can be annoying, but since I play this game so many times, I know when I can attack him or not. I think I first tried him, or like second tried him. He has also two faces, but to be honest, these two faces that he has is not really a problem. He just starts to teleport around you when he's at the second phase. We are finally here to beat the game. The last few bosses, which is armor 1, the dragon, armor 2, and final Xemnas. Armor 1, I have to be patient really which attacks he is making to me. Because when he is throwing the spears at me, I really have to move. And for some reason, the final attack of the spear don't hit me when I go to ramp down. So I guess I'll take it. And luckily, I can jump over his sword attack, which I didn't think about it, if it's actually possible, but I tried it out and it's possible. And now you can't parry it. That was basically armor 1, it took me 20 minutes to like figure some things out. I could have beat him in 10 minutes, but the thing is that I died unfortunately. Now comes the dragon fight, and the dragon fight is pretty simple. I really first tried it and it's not hard, you just have to be careful and dodge him most of the times, attacking with the lasers the enemies and then save your big laser for the one big piece and the two wings for the last. Ammo 2 was also simple, I died I think one time, which took me like 10 minutes. The hardest part is not get damaged by the building that he's throwing at me. Nothing new to him, he just does his sword attack and the barrier thing and that's pretty much it. Final Xemnas. Final Xemnas is, I would say, also one of the hardest because on PlayStation 4 we have a small bug, which is that the reaction command for the dodge in this fight comes half of a second later, which is not good because most of the time I got hit before I can even do something and since I can't use magic, which is really good for this attack series that Final Xenos is doing, I can't use it and that's the problem. I really have to be spamming the hell of my life, get the reaction command somehow, which is simple a few frames and it's not a lot. We can talk about like two or three frames when he is doing the first attack. The rest is just button mashing and that's it. The first phase starts easy. I really have to move all the time to the back because when he is doing his vine attack it can kill me. Because the reaction command for this attack also comes half nothing second later and which means I have to move as fast as possible to the back and spamming try angle for my life just not to get hit and deal him one or two combos if I can. And that goes till we go to the second phase, which are the laces first. I jumped and parried five times, which is a good thing that I can parry them long enough not to get damaged. And then final Xemnas grabs my heart and then I play this Riku for 10 seconds, which is not hard. I got there, got Sora back, and this is where the fun starts, because now he is doing the first attack of this battle two times in a row, which means that I can almost die all the time if I don't get the reaction command. Sometimes it just works and sometimes I don't get the reaction command at all, which leads to that I died. And the thing about the attacks is one simple thing, when he is done doing that, he is gonna spawn some vines inside of him and if I still got hit once, I still can die to the vines because I am literally one shot, which means and if he's done with the second combo, I have to move as fast as possible in the air to my back for like one centimeter or something like that. I have to mash triangle, otherwise I will be dead. And then starts now the third phase, which is just time consuming, is not nothing new. He just doing his vinyl attack much much more and he doesn't come so much often near me. And then playing and trying him for 3 hours, I finally beat him. Thanks for watching so far. And if you want to see more type of videos just like this one, then please type it in the comments. It may not be the best video of YouTube, but hey, it's better than nothing. So, I wish you a very nice day and yeah, Quarkium out.